uh, when we talked to the streets uh, this afternoon uh, and we asked about this particular issue. Should tourists in New Zealand have to drive with a T-plate on their car? Possibly. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. No? Yeah, yeah, it might be interesting, yeah. I reckon it'd be a good idea, cause since all of the um, accidents and stuff that have been in the media recently. Maybe a T-sign could be a good way to do it. That would be a good thing, maybe, yeah. While they're working out a test for tourists. Would it make you drive any differently if you saw someone with a T-plate? Uh, not really, though, but I guess if you're around them, you could be more aware. After all, they don't know the city, so, you know, they're going to be meandering. I'd probably be more careful. Yeah, a bit more cautious, but... Because I guess it would kind of be the same as an L plate. Yeah, it was in the UK last year and we found ourselves on the wrong side of the road uh, twice. Do you find driving on New Zealand roads tough? Nah, it's really easy. Every, there's signs everywhere. Keep left, keep left. Europe, sorry, Europe. <laughs> UK, Europe, same thing. <laughs> Well, there you go, T signs, another sort of, bit, like, kind of like the L signs, isn't it, Ned? So what do you think you'd do? Is, do we need, is it a big enough issue for tourist drivers who come to Aotearoa to have a big T uh, in their window? What do you think? No, and no, I think it's a ridiculous suggestion. Well, why, why is well, it ridiculous? It would be a licence to rob. Yeah. Stick your T yeah, sign in your right. window, you're a tourist, why yeah. don't we break into yep. that car? Yeah. Absolutely. Why, would we, why would we treat tourists differently? Some of the worst drivers on our roads are our own people. Why single out tourists? I don't like the idea I don't know. Well, it sounds like a pretty simple suggestion, well, a, tea, a tea sign in the, uh, in the window. It's what funny, you... Annette and I were just saying that whoever got asked the question first would make the point about uh, licence to rob. I think, you know, yeah. the, the reality is th thieves would see people with tea signs yeah. and go, great, iPhones, laptops, iPads, yeah. cameras, and it'd just be, it, I think it would be very dangerous. And mm. that actually... But, but it's on the South Island, the proportion of people having accidents in the South Island are very disproportionate. They're yeah. all... Overseas yeah, but people. But actually, actually, actually the, number of, the number of uh, foreign tourists driving has gone up 30% in the last 15 years. The proportion of accidents involving foreign drivers stayed constant. Mm. Okay. So there's all the media hype around it. All right, so two no, Tracy Martin, what do you, what do you think? Um, no, I don't think tea. I don't think tea plates is the answer. But we already so have a bill in the members' ballot, which is around this. Dennis O'Rourke's got a mem uh, bill in the members' ballot, and it um, it make it puts the onus on the rental cars, rental car companies, to make sure that those people understand our road code, understand the rules. And I don't know if you've ever driven a car in Japan, but there is a very irritating Japanese lady that after two and a half hours says to you, "You need to pull over and have a rest. You must wow. pull over now." And she will not stop, and you cannot turn around off. So I suggest, we suggest that that's what that bill does. Those okay. safety measures need to be put inside rental vehicles. Alright, what do you reckon? Tea, tea plates? Uh, absolutely, absolutely not. I think they're a really dumb idea. If someone is driving on the wrong side of the road towards you, the last thing you're going to be looking out to see is whether there's a tea plate <laughs> yeah. in the windscreen. Yeah. You're going to be taking evasive action. Look, well, the focus has got to be on making sure that we've got good signage, yeah. that people who are driving in New Zealand know that we drive on the left-hand side of the road, and that our own people mm. actually beha start yeah, to behave. And, and there are a so you think the problem's here? I think you, the you large part of the problem is the crazy way in which New Zealanders drive oh, right. on the open road in particular. All right, oh, so, so, so I can speak with experience. So, so yeah. no, <laughs> no support from the MPs. No, no, but can I just say, only, uh, there's only 1% of the drivers on the New Zealand roads is actually under a report as actually tourist drivers, but they account for 7% of yeah. the fatal or near-fatal accidents. Yeah. So there is an issue around tourist drivers. Wow. We just need to be better at educating them and keeping them awake yeah. and on the same know. side of I the road. I would have thought it's quite a simple thing. Tea place, just like Luna place. No, Hayley, but what? then New Zealanders yeah. have to watch out for them. What does the audience think, Hayley? Yes, what do you think? Do you think we uh, should make tourists have a tea plate? Um, I think on the face of it, it seems like a good idea, but a tea plate coming at, uh, at you at 100 kilometres an hour on the opposite side of the road isn't really going to make any difference. How would you feel if you went to another country and they made you just sit a test and then, and then have a plate on your car? I mean, I've driven in lots of other countries on the wrong side of the uh, on the wrong opposite side of the road and made mistakes. I think it's actually about informing tourists when they come into the country that we do have different rules and um, you know, a, a tea plate just doesn't really. It doesn't really cut. It's a political so solution to what is actually a very practical problem that actually tourists need to, um, uh, you know. To learn about our rules. Yeah, exactly. As someone who lives in Auckland, I almost think that we need an A for Auckland driver's plate. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think maybe uh, it's the New Zealanders have to watch their driving? 
I mean, you have to be careful no matter where you're driving. I mean, I'm quite lucky. I'm from quite a rural area, so I grew up driving on a farm. Um, and I think, you know, you, you do learn certain skills doing that, and those are certain skills that aren't shared by foreigners when they come to our country. So I do agree with the man before me that education is definitely key in this respect, uh, letting the drivers that are coming from overseas, letting them know what we're about, how we drive. Um, I, I think that the idea behind the tea plate is... It's interesting, I, but I do feel that it could sort of invoke stigmatisms around uh, foreign drivers. And yeah, do you think it could make them a target for theft? That is definitely possible, I guess. I hadn't really thought about it. There you go, Wallace. I just want to know if, hey, I just want to know if there's anybody who are visiting from overseas tonight in the house. Hands up anybody from overseas uh, who is... Uh, who's here? Hamilton. Nope. Oh, what, so what, what can we do then? What's the answer? Is it the road code the answer? Oh, yeah, God. yeah, they have to, they, they, when they go to hire a car, they have to show that they understand the rules. It's against international convention for us to actually make them sit a test, but we need to make sure that there is very clear instruction about the rules. Yeah, Staying on this side of the road, if you start to drift, there are actually technologies that can make sure that when you're drifting, they send off alarms. We need, that's where most of the accidents happen, fatigue and drifting to the other side of the road. But a lot of, look, I think that's true, but a lot of that can apply to a New Zealand Absolutely. motorist also. I think we need better roads, frankly. Mm. Iron out some of the nasty curves we've got. I think we need better signage. I think, that, right, I, I think that the police need to focus on road safety rather than, dare I say it, speed enforcement. The two sometimes are different. <laughs> OK, speeding tickets. <laughs> I think More I, tickets. You know, I think he's self-interested. <laughs> More tickets. No, no, look, why, why, for instance, why, for instance, do the police always patrol at the end of speed lane. So yeah. Come on, Peter. So yeah. No, 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 no. So the no, no. people, yeah, cannot, point. people the overtaking and passing lanes cannot safely do so because there's a cop at the end of the lane. I think that causes more frustrating driving okay. than a lot of things, and that's where the focus should be on I look safety, forward, I look forward to your next press release Very about that, um, <laughs> uh, Peter. You, you, you want to say, actually, no, we haven't got time. Look, quiz next. Be back.